Thank you very much. That was a song I wrote in college uh, called Are You Free? Uh, and uh, we recorded it uh, actually at a KNKX live in the studio thing uh, several years ago. But it was, it's great to uh, play that song again. Brings back hazy memories of college. Um, speaking of, uh, how many people were surprised by the uh, lounge, the lunge forward in time today? I know. <laughs> w I woke up and uh, Mitzi was like, my wife was like, uh, she was like, oh, it's only eight o'clock, and I go, uh, I think it's nine o'clock. <laughs> Uh, so, and then I get a text from Jeff that says, daylight savings time, ugh. <laughs> Which I think we can all agree that, yeah, in spring, it, it does kind of, it's not the best. <laughs> so, uh, this next song is uh, a song by Freddie Hubbard, and it might be about daylight saving time, but it definitely is about spring, which is coming, and it's entitled, Up Jump Spring. That's why <laughs> you're playing one hour ahead of the beat? Wow, <laughs> that's, that's good. See, that's very proactive of, of Dean. So here we go, up jump spring. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
take this rhythm section and add uh, Adriana Giordano uh, on as a vocalist, and it's called Vestida Longa. So if you hear a vocalist somewhere in the audience, it <laughs> might be a good piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. And thank you, uh, Mitzi, for singing. I heard you back there. <laughs> Mitzi does have a wonderful singing voice. Uh, and uh, yeah, I love it when she, when she sings. Um, and we love it when uh, Adriana sings. And of course, you know, playing that as an instrumental without her here, you know, definitely hearing her voice uh, leading the charge there. And we are uh, fortunate enough to be able to make music with talented vocalists like her and other vocalists. Um, uh, but yeah, really uh, a lot of fun to be able to be the rhythm section uh, on so many great projects. Um, this next song is um, an original that I wrote a while ago. Um, and it was written in December. And <laughs> I think that probably the cold weather uh, inspired the title, which is Cold Hand. Uh, <laughs> fur. <laughs> Getting goosebumps just thinking about it. I wore a short sleeved shirt in the hopes that warmer weather would be <laughs> shortly on the way. This is uh, Cold Hand.
Thank you very much. Uh, it's fun to write songs uh, and then have these very talented musicians play them. So give it up for Dean and J uh, Jeff. Thank you. Um, we're going to play one more song for this set and then take a, a quick 15-minute uh, intermission and then come back with another set of music. Um, the last song of this set um, is uh, one in time, well, sometimes we get asked, you guys like country music? And we're like, yeah, we love country music. And this next song is from the country of Cuba. <laughs> so <laughs> it is entitled uh, Maria Cervantes. Thank you. 
you very much. We are going to take a very short break. Uh, we do have some CDs for sale, uh, and they are here uh, if you'd like one. Um, a, w a CD that we're all on called A Crazy Lazy Day. And we're actually going to play th the title track next set. So stick around. Uh, and thank you for being out here on a s Sunday afternoon. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in about 15 minutes. Thank you. 
in the Headhunters version of uh, Wad Watermelon Man, which was a Herbie Hancock tune uh, that he recorded t two times. And uh, that was a, I love that recording um, very much. Uh, we're going to continue with a uh, tune that Oliver Nelson wrote. And uh, Mark Murphy put lyrics to this. I'm not going to sing it. But um, it is entitled Stolen Moments. Um, and I really like this song. It's a, it's a cool song. Here we go. Stolen Moments, Oliver Nelson.
Thank you. We're going to continue with a, a favorite song of ours. Um, this was the first song off of Pat Metheny's first album, and it uh, features Jaco Pastorius on uh, bass, and uh, it is entitled Bright Size Life. It's a happy little song.
I love that last note. It's just the kind of a cluster. A minor second. You you don't think it would sound good, and it doesn't really, but it's <laughs> the last note, and, <laughs> and you go with it, you know? That, hey, that's what he wrote, you know? Uh, um, so, you know, uh, sometimes you got to do what the composer wants you to do. I remember uh, when I was a kid, I was talking about piano lessons with Emily over here, and she took piano lessons too, and uh, I remember playing a song by Beethoven, uh, and I played one note that wasn't what Beethoven wrote. And my teacher afterwards was like, well, that was great, but you missed the note. And I said, well, I kind of like that note. And she was like, yeah, well, Beethoven didn't write that note. And I was like, well, maybe he meant to write that note. <laughs> and she said, if <laughs> Beethoven wanted that note, he would have wrote that note. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe, I, maybe he tried that other note, and anyway. Thus began my career in jazz. <laughs> <laughs> um, this next song is a song I wrote. Um, Dean and I used to play every Sunday night at the uh, Triple Door uh, for a series called Salsa Sundays, and they would have about uh, 200 to 300 salsa dancers every Sunday. Uh, and so I was kind of new to the genre of uh, Afro-Cuban music, and so I was like, well, and we needed some material to play, so I was like, I'm going to write a song, and um, I uh, wrote a song, and we, we like to play it. It's, it's kind of a combination of uh, bebop uh, and... Uh, the uh, word for Costa Ricans that they call themselves is ticos. So um, this is bop ticos, bop ticos. <laughs> uh, and it's a song I wrote for Salsa Sundays. And here we are, Sunday. <laughs> if you feel like salsa dancing, there's plenty of room up here. <laughs> if not, I understand. You might want to stretch first. <laughs> so here we go, bop ticos. Thank you. 
All right. Well, I uh, like dynamics. Um, there's this old joke in music. Uh, dynamics, I'm playing as loud as I can. Uh, but uh, we're going to uh, do a song. Um, I like to sing maybe one song every month or so. Uh, <laughs> and this is it. Uh, actually, this is uh, a song dedicated to Mitzi. And we are coming. <laughs> we're, we're going to be celebrating our 18th wedding anniversary here uh, on the 19th of March coming up. So this is the song that we danced our first dance to, uh, and it's entitled The Nearness of You. the pillow that excites me that brews and delights me oh no it's just the nearness of you Is it your sweet conversation that brings this sensation? Oh no, it's just the nearness of you. Thank you. I got to say a big thank you to Mitzi uh, because she's the reason most of you are here today. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it and uh, all the support through all of these years. Uh, I certainly could not have uh, made as much music as I wanted to make uh, without you. So, 
Um, all right, we got one more song for you. Uh, we are going to end with a Stevie Wonder song uh, that uh, we like to play. Here it is. Uh, w again, thank you to Ryan uh, doing the sound and video. Appreciate it. And also, yeah, give it up for Ryan. And Christopher Jenkins is the person that uh, I went to college with a long time ago. And he's <laughs> in charge of uh, putting all the music events here at Resonance. And so thank you to Christopher. <laughs> and if you ask him about any stories in about college and me, I uh, deny all allegations. <laughs> um, so here we go, uh, Stevie Wonder, uh, Sir Duke. This is a uh, you, we could feel it all over. 